Thank you and welcome to the show this morning. The topic this morning is troubled youth. And we're fortunate to have with us to talk about so many of our young people who are in trouble for a variety of reasons, a community organizer, a person who has been involved in the community of Nashville for a number of years, uh, Mr. Harold Love, Jr. And of course, uh, Mr. Love, let me uh, welcome you to uh, the show this morning and to tell you how delighted we are to uh, have you and to also remind our audience that uh, you are sitting in the same seat that a long time ago your father was sitting in on uh, this very, very same show. And so we're just glad to uh, have you and to uh, know that you are, in a real sense, continuing a tradition of uh, being involved in the community and being an organizer and being an activist. Let's have uh, you to give us some information about your background, sure. uh, your education, and some of the things that were important in terms of bringing you to us this morning. And then we'll talk about some of the problems that many of the, uh, our youth are having uh, this morning. Certainly, Dr. Haney, glad to be here this morning. Uh, thank you for the invitation. Just uh, a little bit about myself. I'm a product of the Nashville public school system. I graduated with honors from White's Creek High School, I then went on to college at Tennessee State University, and where I received a degree in economics and finance. Uh, and I'm now in a PhD program in public administration at Tennessee State, uh, trying to complete my requirements for that. And so I've gone through the gamut of the public school system. And of course, uh, it's been a great pr privilege to be here in Nashville and to service our great communities and to try to give back to worthwhile organizations and to invest in our communities, which is so important as we talk about uh, the importance of our young adults seeing persons who present a positive image to them. I think it's important for us to give back. And so that's part of my story. The, f the fifth of uh, four girls and myself born to my mother and father. Of course, my father, as you stated, a member of the Tennessee General Assembly for about 24 years. Mm -hmm. My mother, a director of the Upward Bound program at Tennessee State University for a number of years. And so mm -hmm. these kinds of opportunities provided for me uh, the foundation uh, for understanding how important it was to give back to our young people so that they may have role models that they may look to for guidance in their lives. Mm -hmm. You know, when we talk about troubled youth, and I know that uh, your resume would indicate that you've been involved with a lot of young people, you see, and uh, what would you say up front uh, as we make uh, preparations in the middle of this for, for our, I mean, our uh, first commercial break, what would you say up front is the uh, real problem that you've identified with many of our youth today? There's an opportunity to ask young people to make preparation for their future. You talk about a young person understanding what it means to plan for their lives. When you get up in the morning, what is it that you want to do for that day? Do you have a plan? Uh, you want to get up, you want to go to your job, you want to uh, complete some tasks, and you, you want to come back home. That's your plan for your day. I, in the same manner, will sit down and plan out what I want to do for that day. I write down what stops I have to make. So in the same manner for our young people and our young adults, it's an opportunity for us to ask them at a very young age, start planning out what you want to do for your day because it then leads into you being to plan out what you do for your life. Where do you want to be in five years if you are a college uh, freshman? Then you back that up and say, where would you want to be in five years if you are a high school freshman? Then you can back that up further and ask the middle school students, where would you want to be in five years if you are a sixth grader? If they can correctly articulate that they uh, at sixth grade want to be in high school mm -hmm. and then a freshman in high school they say I want to be a freshman in college mm -hmm. and then a freshman in college says well, I want hope to graduate and get me a job. What you see is opportunities for them to plan mm -hmm. what they want to. Planning is I think the very key to it because mm -hmm. it says that you're, you're thinking about where you want to be mm -hmm. instead of just simply saying well I don't know. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. uh, that is what do you want to do uh -huh. In five years, I don't know. Where do you want to be in 10 years? I don't know. These kind of responses allow for trouble to come in between where they are and, and where, where they, they will be, be in mm -hmm. five years, mm -hmm. 10 years, because if a person has no plan, mm -hmm. right, mm -hmm. then anything can come in there and start to plan their lives. So if my day is not full of going to the dry cleaners, mm -hmm. going to the grocery store, mm -hmm. going to uh, pick up some things that I need and then come back home, <laughs> then somewhere in my day's journey, when friends come and say, hey, 
let's go to this place over here where trouble is. Mm -hmm. I have no plans. I very often may go ahead and go because I have nothing else nothing to do. Nothing else to do. And, and, and reality, you have not made any plans as, as you're indicating. Yes, sir. And so it's important for them, to, uh, as you speak to them this morning, to recognize that what they have to do is consciously say, I'm going to do one, two, three, and et cetera, and try to stand, stick sure. with that plan. Is that sure. what we're saying? Exactly. Mm -hmm. and, and for parents, you can start at a very early age, again, in middle school. Mm -hmm talking to the eighth graders and saying, listen, what kind of job do you want to do? Okay, let, let, let's hold, let's make this break here, uh, Brother Love, and then we'll be back with our audience following this very, very short uh, commercial break. <laughs> 